sink the Moskva. That is our mission here today in cold waters. This is the Moskva class anti-submarine cruiser and also carrier. You see that she's carrying a few helicopters on the back. 18 KA-25s to be exact. So welcome aboard, folks. It is nice to have you here, of course. This is Cold Waters, the uh, wonderfully fantastic naval action game from the folks over at Killer Fish Games, taking place in the Cold War or Cold War Gone Hot scenario. It is 1968 in this mission, and we're going to be sinking it with a 1959 Skipjack. So for those of you who love early era subs, this is going to be the one for you. Guys, the internet has been going crazy for this game. So if you love it, if you're liking it, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's get it up to 1,000 likes for the U.S. Navy and for the Soviet Navy here. All the great movies, of course, Red October, and of course all the uh, fantastic technologies and everything like that. It's so exciting here. You see that this is loaded up with some RBUs and also, uh, well, you see the depth charge launchers on the front and also the helicopters on the back, which are just a threat enough to a submarine. These are going to be used to try to hunt our Polaris submarine somewhere in the north. So uh, again, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I've been doing some crazy things in this game. We've been launching Tomahawk missile strikes. We've been torpedoing enemy boats. We've been launching harpoons. And very soon, some, uh, well, Navy SEALs. I'm, I'm going to keep that a little secret. Navy SEALs are doing something in the next mission. But for now, let's sink the Moskva class anti-submarine cruiser. Thanks for subscribing and being part of today's show, folks. Let's get to it right away. Here we go. So here in cold water, they've added a few more uh, extra details to the game. They've added some more difficulty. So I've already thrown it on Elite, which is the highest difficulty rating in the game. And we're going to be playing Mission 6, Skirmish in the Denmark Strait. It does feature two campaigns as well, one taking place in 68 and one taking place in 84. But we're going to be just playing the random single-player missions here, which go all the way up to uh, 10, including, oh yeah, sinking a little bit of uh, the Red Bear there, which is uh, the Red October, and of course a uh, Tomahawk Missile. Uh, strike which we've done previously so to see that make sure you subscribe and check out on the channel all right you've made contact with the soviet open ocean asw group including a helicopter carrier that is attempting to break out in the north atlantic with the intent of hunting our polaris submarines objective sink the moskva all right let's get started okay here we go of course, this is our Skipjack nuclear attack submarine. This is the early model of this, and we're loaded up with uh, Mark 16 and Mark 37 torpedoes. We can also choose the permit class nuclear attack submarine, but we're going to go with the uh, Skipjack, which was made in 1959, or at least in service since. So uh, we do have uh, two different types of torpedoes, one of which is a dummy torpedo, the other which is actually a pretty good piece of technology, and we're going to be using that against the Moskva, so that way she can't launch her helicopters. Let's accept our mission then. And uh, we'll be in charge of the snook. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and uh, hop behind the wheel of the snook. And uh, let's go ahead and nuke the enemy. All right, Captain, we have a new sonar contact. Bearing 77, designate Sierra 1. Depth 432, heading 33, speed 5 knots. Broking moderate uh, breeze, moderate surface duct, moderate thermal layer 209. Uh, orders. All right, let's close to uh, 20,000 yards. Let's go ahead and take a look at our weapons here. We're going to go ahead and load some Mark 37s, which are going to be a little bit more effective against the Moskva. Uh, we don't know exactly how we'll come up behind this ship, so we'll see here soon enough. Noisemakers times 20, and uh, some dummy torpedoes here as well. All right, XO, let's go ahead and have all hands man battle stations. Let the excitement begin as we destroy this Soviet helicopter carrier. Here we go. Oh, my God. Okay. Here we are. Okay, looks like we got a lot of sonar contacts already, I can tell, right there in the briefing. We've got Sierra 1 and Sierra 3, one of which is already coming for us. Let's go ahead and uh, rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's bring her deep, boys. We're going uh, plane down uh, 25. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit the bottom of the ocean here right away and scoot around these ships that are coming our way. You can see Sierra 1 is uh, an enemy ship here uh, that is going to have to be identified by our uh, sonar. So we're going to go ahead and try to look through the profile book and see what type of a ship that may be. Um... That's probably going to be more than likely some sort of a destroyer. Uh, could, be, could be a Riga. We might be looking at a Riga here. I'm going to go ahead and classify this as a Riga uh, right now. It look, it's looking pretty promising. Yeah, oh, oh boy. All right, they're pinging us right now. Uh, let's take a look at the S3. That could be the Moskva right there. Also could be a Kashin as well. Mm, let's go ahead and nope, nope. Looks like it's a little off from the sonar from what I can tell. Uh, let's quickly identify. We're going to go ahead and call... Oh, that could be the Moskva right there. Sierra 3. Okay, we're going to classify that then. And let's see if we can get uh, on the other side of the Riga here and get ready to launch our attack. So a beautiful day out here. Beautiful day for the Soviets to die. Let's go ahead and take a look at our sub again. We can see the enemy ship out there. And uh, let's get to the bottom of the ocean. 
And let's get some of these things out of our way. Here we go. Okay. All right. So now, for those of you who are not thinking it's so exciting, just keep in mind that they're looking for us. It's basically like a fish trying to sink boats. Uh, so they have our, themselves a sonar up there. They're looking down for us. We got to somehow get behind them and uh, launch an attack, though we kind of uh, immediately spawned in front of them. It's kind of hard to get away from that scenario. But uh, we're rigging the ship for ultra quiet right now. So nobody's, nobody's doing any repairs. Everything's quiet. So we don't want them to hear us. Uh, they may detect us, so that's why we're getting out of the way. We don't want them to see us. And I uh, apologize for my cold and my scratchy throat, but uh, I'm just too excited not to play this game today. So uh, thank you, everyone, for putting up with me. All right, that enemy ship there has definitely got to be a cache. And look at that. Let's see if we can identify. Oh, uh, Riga right here. Should be right there. Here we go. And that does look like a Riga to me, at least uh, from what I can remember. And that is definitely a good little destroyer there. Uh, that is just hauling butt. But it doesn't look like they've changed course. Oh, wait a minute. Were they just changing course? Okay. All right. We're going to continue on our uh, course then. Let's go ahead and level out with the plane. And uh, let's kind of just sneak by. We're going to get out of the way and come up behind the Moskva. And uh, we're going to make sure that that's what that is. Now, there, there's probably a bigger escort out there. And the enemy could have uh, TU-95 bears or other things around as well to support them. So we'll see exactly what they have here soon enough. Oh, boy. All right. We're getting very close here. All right. Let's take a look at that sonar. Oh boy. Oh, 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 we're very close to that ship. There's really not much we can do aside from uh, get behind them and launch a couple of torpedoes. So we're going to just uh, wait a little bit for them to sneak by, and then we're going to fire off all our torpedoes. Uh, again, every time you play these missions, it is dynamic. It changes every single time you play. So um, anything could change. Ooh, Zero 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at that signature. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, nope. Not going to be one of those. Oh, it looks like it's Cresta... Kotlin DD. Yep, looks like it's another Kotlin. All right, so we got a Riga and a Kotlin here. So uh, we're going to have to stay away from those. Looks like we uh, have uh, sonar contact with those. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just keep quiet. I know the music's building. I, I didn't have the music on before. You know how it is for a YouTuber. Copyright this and copyright that. But we'll keep it on here for today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'm excited here because we're just waiting to launch our attack. We're the one with the advantage here. So that's what makes it so exciting. It's like being a sniper. Right, our target's moving into the area. We're here on the rooftop. We're just we're we're just waiting to pull the trigger. That's all. That's all it's gonna take. All right, let's see. All right, where's the uh, Moskva? There she is. So we're just sneaking behind the uh, Riga. I can't believe they didn't detect us. That's amazing. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can take a look at that ship. Actually, oh no, we not yet fully identified, but we do have a, a course. And uh, we could fire at it. Oh, there she is. All right. Very good. That's the bastard we got to hunt down. Look at that. The Soviet crews are ready to hop into their choppers at a moment notice. Uh, but we're going to make sure that that does not happen. So we're sneaking behind them. And we're going to just try to hit this helicopter first. It looks like the Riga may have, a cor uh, may have detected us. She's changing her course a bit. Oh, yeah. They've, they've definitely spotted us now. We got, we got close. But I, I got out of the way as far as I could. All right, Moskva, it's time for you to die. All right, Moskva, they, they could be radioing to that ship any time. Looks like the DD's circling back. It could be just a patrol pattern, but I'm pretty sure that, they've, uh, that they know we're here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look under the ocean again. Look at how close we are. And they do have, uh, they do have uh, gigantic... Um, do they have... Oh, they, are. they They might have the ability to fire depth charges on those rocket pods and also they have torpedoes themselves so uh you know of course a destroyer these are more for anti-ship but still uh they may have torpedoes on board i'm not i'm not sure what kind of a compliment it has but we'll do her a nice compliment by sending her to the bottom of the ocean she'll look pretty there and it'll be nice for a uh, you know school of fish and stuff to take up refuge okay so we don't want to get too close to the moskva but we don't want to be this far yet we're going to just continue on on course and take a look at some of these ships as we explore here the uh, ships are beautifully detailed in this game. All right, we can't see that one, but here's the Moskva again. Very interesting weapons on it. Are those ASMs, uh, a, uh, SAM sites, I believe? Those might be anti-aircraft uh, or helicopter missiles. Uh, they do seem to have also uh, sidearms on them. All sorts of different stuff. And by that, I mean, you know, <laughs> pods on the side to fire from. A lot of radar dishes. A lot of ability to uh, look and watch over their own aircraft. So this is going to be a big kill here, and it's going to save our player submarines. They're, they're coming right for us. We're in elite right now, and they don't see us. I'm really shocked with this. 
I'm actually doing, I might, Raptor might do good. Okay, the Riga's there. She's kind of closing in on us, but she's going slow. We're getting a sonar blip now. All right, let's go ahead and have the Moskva get chased now by our torpedoes. We're going to go ahead and put two fish in the water, and uh, let's go ahead and, uh, the game is indicating for us, or at least uh, XO or somebody is uh, stating that we should fire here on this blue dot. So we're going to do just that, and we're going to go ahead and have these go active right about there. And then uh, we don't want to break wire or anything, so let's go ahead and stop our rudder turn. Once we fire, those two ships are going to be on us right away. Our mission here today is to sink only the helicopter carrier, but I think we might be able to uh, blow up the other ships here as well. So let's go ahead and uh, start on this. Let's just, uh, Riga's not actually picked up pace at all. So I think now is a great opportunity to fire, but it's going to take a while for our torpedoes to get there. So I don't, I don't want to, I want to fire now, but I know it probably wouldn't be a good idea. So let's go ahead and speed up a little bit of time here. Again, with just a simple press of F9. And it looks like that enemy ship almost stopped. She seems to just be sitting still for the most part. The Riga has not moved in to, uh, to chase us at all. But they are pinging us with the torpedo, or with the, uh, with the sonar. So we could see a, a ship, uh, or a helicopter launch torpedo soon enough. There's no dipper or anything here. We're ultra quiet. That's for sure. All right, let's wait. Let's get a little bit closer to our prey. There she comes. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. I definitely want to get behind the ship, but we're pretty much out of time to uh, get that maneuver ready. So let's go ahead and put two fish away. Let's go ahead and go up to the surface right away, and let's start hunting for our target. So go ahead and uh, start flying, boys. Let's see what we can do. Two fish away. Hopefully we don't break our wire. And fire. Torpedo away. All right, weapon break already. Probably uh, angle. I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I'm no expert, but that's what's the very fun as well, is that for those of you who are not experts or intimidated by this type of game, don't be, because it is a hell of a lot of fun, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So here we go. All right, tor two torpedoes away. These will turn left and right then to engage their targets. And uh, there is a way and a technique where you can kind of turn yourself a little bit to try to, uh, uh, you know, make those torpedoes come at a slightly different angle and such. But uh, for now, uh, they're already using active sonar on us. I believe they've pinged us once. Here come the depth charges. So we're out of here, baby. That is it. The uh, Moskva is not happy with us. She's firing depth charge torpedoes, or not uh, torpedoes, but just charges in general. You'll see those floating down here. You'll see some bubbles next to me in a second or two. And uh, you guys are going to see uh, some explosions quite quickly. Here they come. Ooh, right behind us. They didn't know how fast we were going. Oh, boy. Ooh, boy. That's awfully close. No hits, though. Let's check damage control. Hull is at 100%. Awfully close, but no real damage. Okay, we're passing 1,000 feet. We don't want to go any deeper than that. Let's go ahead and swing around here. Moskva has been lost. She's behind us now, but it's up to the torpedoes to do their job. Torpedoes are going to try to get up to the surface. Riga is going to come around now and chase us. So let's get ready for that. Moskva is going to get hit here in a second by those advanced torpedoes. And here, here they come again with their uh, with their depth charges. Somebody's firing them again. It's probably the Riga this time. Riga's right on top of us. They better be careful. Oh, here they come. Uh, okay, planes are offline. Toad array is damaged. Something must have... Uh, wow, I didn't see any explosions from those uh, depth charges. That's interesting. There was no... Uh, explosions from the depth charges, but it did say that we uh, took some damage to uh, to the plane? No, to the rudder? I don't know. Something took damage, but it, I, huh, I don't actually see it being permanently damaged. Okay, Riga's right on top of us. Let's circle back around and get that beast. Moskva came over as well. Alright, let's speed up time. There we go. Well, there she is. Hello, beautiful. It's nice to see you here. I thought we were going to dance. Oh, and it looks like you're calling over a plane. Good. All right, well, so much for my first attempt here. That's why I didn't want to fire until a little later. All right, total ray has been repaired. Oh, Moskva, why do you do this to me? So you see, we took a little bit of damage back here. Well, it looks like a huge amount of damage, but uh, 
and it, it actually took away about 25% of the hull integrity. But uh, let's go ahead and try this now. Let's hit her in the booty. Let's get ready with this uh, weapon here. Don't know how to really do it in an angle. Let's give it a try. It cannot fire mark uh, 16 below 100 feet. All right, roger that. Let's get up to depth then. Let's come up behind the Moskva and do it the old-fashioned way then. <coughs> Not good with this technology you kids are all on about. All right, let's get up there. All right, so they're dropping uh, buoys to listen to us. That was a good shot with those two torpedoes. I just uh, I need to understand a little bit more through practice as well of how everything works. So it'll just take some time. Don't you worry. Moskva doesn't know where we are at all. Oh, you silly, you silly submarine hunter. Guess who's about to pop up next to you? Surprise! It's the crazy dinosaur guy. All right, let's go ultra quiet now. All right, let's see here. Look at this. We're we're just next to this ship. This is crazy. This is exciting as hell. And the nice thing is, is that it's going to be very hard for them to engage us with those ships, or with those planes, because of uh, us being so close to a friendly ship of theirs. Okay, we're we're at uh, we're at depth. God, how, let's let's try to get really far up here. Wow, imagine firing a torpedo like literally point blank range. I don't even think the torpedo is going to have time to activate. All right, let's not go any further ab above uh, fifty. All right, level off. Oh my God, this is amazing. We should use one of our new fancy torpedoes on them. But I want to try it with one of the old school ones. It'd be hilarious. Should we just add in insult to injury just to let them know where we're at? Oh, wait. I was going to raise the mast here. Hold on. We need to be above 50 feet. Not sure if I know where they are, guys. We might have to raise the, uh, might have to raise the mast. All right. Here comes the TU-95, I believe. Could be an illusion as well. I'm not... Looks like a bear to me. Okay, let's get ready to fire. This is ridiculous. So much for that elite mode. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready to shoot. And uh, let's go ahead and torpedo us away on this one. Let's see how it works. And... She's going to move... She's going to pick up speed, so I'm going to fire a little bit ahead of her. Okay, two torpedoes are away. Great. <laughs> wow, did we get her? We sure did. Moskva is down. Unconventional means, I guess. We got a little bit of flooding on our ship because we're uh, actually we're ri we rigged for ultra quiet. So let's go ahead and repair that. There we go. Look at that baby. She is done. Done. Goodbye. Mission completed here. Getting lucky with our uh, different types of uh, of uh, spawns and such like that. They were heading right towards us. So there goes the Moskva right now. Oh my god. Those planes are not sliding off. That'd be cool if they slid off into the ocean. I would like to see that. There she comes. We're just going to swing away from that. Wow, well, look at that. That'd be a great thumbnail right there. Hi, how's it going? Wow, two gigantic torpedoes right into the bottom. Uh, I guess I guess they must be like a distance uh, s sensory or something. They went off right underneath the... Just right on the bottom of the ship. Just beautiful. She went down in no time at all. Uh-oh. T-95's not happy with us. Uh-oh. Oh, look at it kick up the smoke when it goes through. Oh, I wish it did. Okay, well, the Soviets just had a pretty severe loss here. Let's go ahead and track the Riga now. Let's go ahead and start engaging enemy targets. Uh, continue to uh, file, follow enemy ships. Let's go ahead and uh, get our sonar or our, our array up here. Uh, first of all, uh, got to get right back into command. Let's see where everything is. All right, are we able to? Yep, raise periscope. Periscope is rigged for dive. Oh, it was up. Oh, I, it was up the whole time. I guess I did. Oh, I didn't even notice. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look. Where's enemy ships? There goes the, uh, ooh, a helicopter's around as well. That must be a, uh, where is that thing? Oh, here we go. Contact, uh, 
at uh, two. What is that? Two ninety. Two ninety one. How do I uh, mark again? Here we go. Should be able to mark this way. Well, actually, we're gonna have to swing around for this one. Let's just hit the hit the. Literally the dirt. We're gonna go all the way down now. Ahead two thirds. Yeah, we're captivating. I know. We're amazing. Actually, it's captivate. Cap. Cap. Oh, I can't say. Uh oh, wait a minute. Well, they were looking for us anyway with the buoys, so there was really no escape from that. Those buoys are extremely good. Alright, cavitating is what we don't want to do. Let's go ahead and get some more torpedoes loaded up here. Get a couple more uh, small ones and a few dummies in there. There we go. Dummies is in. They're not. They're just a fire and forget weapon. We did okay with them so far. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are angry. Why did... Oh, my... Did, oh, this guy. But relax. It's just a game, and it's a ton of fun. And for, for those of you who want to play really realistically, there's great people out there. People like uh, Jive Turkey been getting a lot of love out there. Rightfully so. It's nice to see uh, former submariners and uh, big fans and such playing with all their knowledge. And good, good to see you uh, enjoying a noob such as myself as we continue to blow it up the enemy. It's good. All right, the Riga is going to get it, and then we're going for uh, the Kir the Kotlin. Sorry, not the Kirov, but uh, yeah, this is this is looking like a mess. I did a bad job with those earlier torpedoes, but you gotta gotta give it to me for at least getting so close to the enemy. Uh, they thought they thought me they got me, and then I just pulled right up and sunk them in two seconds. So uh, definitely not the way you should engage, but hilarious, and all about the lols. Isn't that right, Soviets? Yeah, is it about the lols? Yeah, no. Hey, is it just a grumpy bear? Okay, bye. All right, let's get into the ship and let's get hauling here. We're going to speed up time. We're going to rig for ultra quiet again. I think uh, if we haven't done that already, well, we can actually because if we do that, we'll stop the repairs and also the flooding will start again as well. All right, let's speed up time. All right, looks like uh, most of the torpedoes are ready. And uh, the Riga's right in front of us. Is she dead stopped in the water? Riga is so, so, so emotionally damaged by the loss of a friendly ship. Perhaps they've come to a soul. God, that was a hard ping. Holy crap. All right, head one third. Riga's just come to a stop. What the hell? It's like they've given up hope, which they should. But I'm like doing seven knots and I'm about to plow into them. Riga, what's up? Wow, we couldn't even, uh, bio sonar on this one is a little icy. We, like, plowed right into her. Okay, well, for I guess for a second time, let's fire torpedoes. They, th this should not be happening. I should not be able to get this close. But, uh, now so much for that elite status. Seems too easy, doesn't it? But try, try the campaign on, on elite. Uh, th this, of course, would be an easier mission. I like being so close to these enemy ships, so that way they can't drop any more of those damn, uh, buoys, but I wouldn't be surprised if they lost. So go, no. Alright, nothing going on there. Okay. Okay, we're evening out now. She's going quick. Let's try to launch one of the more advanced torpedoes now and see what happens to the Riga in this case. Alright, let's get into position. All right, we should be pretty good now to engage. Let's go ahead and get ready to fire. Let's go ahead and uh, arm weapon and get ready to sh shoot her and scoot her. You know what? I don't think I turned on this active sonar in the previous uh, firing of our, our torpedoes. That might have been the problem as well. I bet we could have... Well, the Moskova would have taken more than just one hit. But regardless, um, we at least got her to swing around to the other side. And we came up just beside her and she thought we were dead. Uh, oh, God. You're not... Okay, I don't... Turn right. Not, not to me. Oh, God. Sweetie, you're, you're... Okay, you're coming back here. We want you to go the other way, okay? I need to kill some Soviets, okay? There you go. All right, go ahead and kill them. There you go. That's a good torpedo. There you go. Perfect. The Riga's down. And there goes an enemy helicopter, which uh, I'm not sure if it could fly into the Riga. I don't... No, that doesn't have a heli helipad or anything. Maybe that's one from the Moscow. Oh, God. What is that? Some sort of a... Some sort of a noisemaker. Did I, did I shoot that on accident? Maybe the Riga did. 
to uh, ditch that torpedo. But anyway, we got flooding. So we better uh, get to the uh, ballast room. Or the reactor, possibly. Looks like it might be in the reactor. Same same compartment, so they'll be repaired. Okay, let's go for the last one, folks. That was cool. I wish we had some cooler weapons to blow that thing up. But, ooh, Kotlin now. Let's see what that ship was again. Kotlin, let's see. Uh, do do do. Riga, Pody, Alligator, Dom. What the hell? Wow, look at, look at, wow, this ship going up is sweet. Look at that. Now she's finally sinking. She's got, oh, look at that. All right, you guys watch that. I'm going to watch the card here to see what the Kotlin is. There she is. 130 millimeter, 58 guns, uh, 38 knots, 3,000 tons, etc., etc. Okay, we're, we're cavitating as well. We need to not do that. Of course, with practice and with a lot more attention and with some actual naval experience, you too could be a, just a, fi a fine commander of this uh, vessel, uh, which I was yelled at for calling a, a ship. It is a boat. It is a boat. But to me, it's all the same. One of them city boys, you know. And, all right, let's see here, Kotlin. We're going We're going for you next, Kotlin. So I think maybe my, my flaw from the start was I did not activate the... Uh, the, the um, the uh, sonar of those two torpedoes though I will say that uh, enemy torpedo or rather our torpedoes are better at looking horizontally than they are vertically so if you're firing under an enemy ship it's less likely to hit it unless you're at the same depth but when you're engaging sh surface ships a lot of the times you just wait for them to come to you wow there's a lot of enemy helos around so we gotta watch out for this oh god yep they're not happy oh my god they don't want they don't want that happening to them again. Our emergency teams are just all over. All the all the different compartments are being flooded here by enemy activity and such. Oh yeah, we got we got hit pretty good. 71% uh, still from that previous hit. Uh, but we need to uh, make sure our guys are able to uh, repair. Looks like that enemy ship is coming towards us. Oh. Not so much for that. You fired off too. All right, let's let's see if we can fire underneath this some bitch. Mm, too risky. I'm the crazy guy, right? I'll go for the crazy risk. I love the people who take their time and know how to position the ship. Me, I'm just like this is probably fine. Like I'd be great in a war. There'd be heroes, and then there's be there'd be me, and it'd be like, uh, you know, hey, you just saved the world. What do you guys think? It was great to bring honor to our country, and I'd be like, hey, yeah, when's uh. Are we having pizza or what? Like that, you know, that, that, that'd be my thing. Meeting all the presidents or whatnot, joint chiefs of staff, and I'd be like, hey, yeah, uh, I heard you guys have a pinball machine. Can I have a quarter or, or is it 50 cents? Because I'm going I'm to need to borrow some money. Like that, that'd be me. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, circle behind this ship here. Hey, we're just having fun. It's good. It's nice hunting the commies, isn't it? Oh, just crushing communism, just like the good old days, folks. All right, let's go ahead and uh, level off again. And, uh, yes, we're being very cavitating right now. Uh, cavitating is uh, no good. I gotta get used to not doing that, but also we're just chasing ships that are just completely stopped. I don't think these ships should actually be able to uh, launch aircraft, so it's interesting to see them even here uh, with uh, helicopter support. But those are from the Moskva, so they're basically gonna have to ditch themselves eventually. They're gonna be out of fuel soon enough. Alright, you see that enemy ship there getting ready to... looks like she's turning. Possibly, no. Oh, here comes the bear. Uh oh. Bear, you stay away. She's coming in right on top. Depth charges, maybe? Not a thing. Wow, almost plowed into the helicopter, too. All right, I'm getting ready just to make a turn here, so that way we can engage this uh, final enemy craft. And uh, let's go ahead and... There we go. Get up to speed. Plane is down 10. We're sinking a little bit as well uh, because of the water we were taking on, but let's go ahead and finish this off here, folks. And uh, let's fire our torpedoes. Here we go. Torpedoes away. We're going to put the depth or uh, the uh, activate a little bit earlier. So that way we can hit that enemy uh, ship. And let's see what happens. Let's follow the weapon. The weapon is away. And uh, the Riga is hauling ass. Kotlin, rather. Riga is gone. The Kotlin is hauling. Oh my god. Torpedo is away. Cool. These, uh, these earlier torpedoes are really cool. You can just see how basic they are. Noisemaker launched from the Kotlin. And uh, we're activating uh, sonar right about now. She'll be on hunt mode here in a second. There she goes. She's finding her. Oh, they're gonna be, it's going to be very hard for them to evade this. 
Enemy helicopters watching. Here she comes. This is very exciting. Look at that. She's in hot pursuit. Hundreds of men are on that ship. She could be having a bad day here anytime. I'm commanding the torpedo to turn differently. To chase the ship. She's locked on. She just needs to hit her. Plenty of fuel on board that torpedo to chase her for quite some time. We could see a beautiful side shot on this ship. Oh, the Kotlin. Oh, boy. Boy, are they hauling. Oh, but they're going to turn into it. They're turning into it. Oh, no. Hit the e-brake, dude. Oh, no. Wow, this ship is really getting away. Noisemaker dropped, but it's going to be too late. She's going right for the propeller. Come on, baby. Blast them. Wow, she's actually getting away. Wear brake on the weapon. Oh, my God. She's turning again. Oh, why would you do that, Soviets? You're going to slow down now. Look at how she chased her all the way over there. Skipjack's going to turn and burn again. They're actually outrunning the torpedo. I'm actually really shocked to see that. Of course, usually we engage cruisers. Destroyers are a whole different game. But the noisemaker is just not going to do anything here. It's her speed that's given her a good chance. But look at that Kotlin go, baby. The surface speed of these ships is incredible. Let's give them another torpedo. Hi there, Kotlin. Good to see you hauling. Wow, look at him go. Let's give them another torpedo now. I feel like they're going to go over this direction. Maybe not. It's anybody's guess as to where this ship's going to end up. Immediate wire break, but she's in hunt mode. We need to watch out for that torpedo. Okay, we're at 72 feet. I'm going to try to ambush her with one last set of torpedoes. I'm maneuvering ahead one third. We're going to try to go into her pass. She seems to just be going counterclockwise. Running from that last torpedo. She can outrun it now. She's, she's going real well at full speed here. Unless she makes a mistake. If they turn the wrong direction, they could lose it. Could happen. She's coming real close. She's turning again. Our torpedo is eventually going to detonate when it runs out of fuel. Wow, this is exciting. Alright, I fired off a few torpedoes. That's another thing I'll have to learn is, you know, distance and such like that to engage with torpedoes. But, with every shot, it's a little bit better practice. Let's reload all of our torpedoes now. And we're just moving closer now. Ho oh, ho! She finally got hit by that torpedo. And she is dead in the water, folks. She finally caught up to her. The Soviets finally made a mistake with multiple torpedoes coming at them. They were probably tracking multiple uh, contacts with torpedoes. And that's it, boys. TU-95 not going to be able to help. Perhaps those helicopters can come in to uh, assist a little bit, but uh, that's it. And we're popping out of the water a little bit as a little victory dance here. I saw me uh, popping up a little bit. Those uh, helicopters are more than capable of dropping depth charges on us right now, and same with the TU-95, but... That was it after the explosion. So very cool to see. An absolute beautiful game. We'll be back with more missions here. It was nice to play some of the earlier submarines. So, uh, oh boy, he's not happy with us. We're going to get out of here then. He's going to drop uh, depth charges on us, I bet. Okay, that's it. I'm heading over to McDonald's. If you guys want something, let me know. We're, we're swinging to the uh, Outsea McDonald's somewhere near Greenland. So uh, we'll see you all there. It's uh, good for the crew to get some chow. Excellent. A lot of mistakes with my torpedoes. I know a lot of people always get all fired up and upset. But one, it's a game. Two, be helpful to all those people who don't know like me. But three, despite me not knowing, look at that. I blew up three big old ships. That one's got its nose pointing right out of the ground. It's beautiful. It's a great game. Wonderfully fantastic. So make sure you check out those other people playing it as well. Leave a like here. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for all your positivity, your good waves, and good vibes, man. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.